Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Vineyard. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, for God so loved this world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is the love that Jehovah Himself gave to us through His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. If you'd like to help us, Send your check or money order to James Barkus Ministries, P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Um, Sunday morning, we've made a few tweaks here. Wednesday night, for the time being, we have eliminated. And it's because of the work schedule and because my voice gets used quite a bit with work, handling a lot of phone calls. Uh, we do special events throughout the year. Uh, the Wednesday night service will be on hold for the time being, but Sunday morning, Sunday evening, 11 a.m. Sunday morning, Sunday evening, 7 p.m., and, of course, special events throughout the year. So be watching for that. Look for James Barkus Ministries Network on YouTube. And those of you hearing the echo, that's our speaker system where my wife can hear me as well through the other microphone that's playing out uh, like we were in a cathedral at this point in time. <clears throat> we continue. If you'd like to help us with Link to the Word, postage may be donated to by way of check money order or actual purchase of postage itself. James Barkus Ministries, Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. And Bibles you may send them to 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Um, got some prayer requests here, unspoken and spoken, um, that we will be getting to as well. Speaking of which, pray for us. Our websites, jamesbarkusministries.weebly.com and jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com Wordpress is our blog, Weebly is our main website. Um, you may, at this point in time, we still have our Twitter account. I haven't logged in in several days. Had other things to do besides, you know, camp out on Twitter and see what was going on, why the ship was going down. Um, First thing I want to say is I pray for every employee of Twitter. Ones that are affected by the loss of their loved ones and friends who have worked with them for years, loss of them through layoffs, firings, and attritions. Um, I pray for the ones that have been fired through layoffs and attrition and other methods. But do use our email if you have a longer prayer request or if you have testimonies to give us jbmprayer at live.com. If you'd like to book us for a special event, these are churches or ministries that, if you'd like to book us for a special event, jbmworldhq at live.com. We're glad to have you with us this morning. Today, I'd like to tell a story before we get to the scripture. You know, every once in a while, a ewe will give birth to a lamb and end up rejecting it. There are many, many reasons she may do this. If the lamb is returned to the ewe, the mother may even kick the poor animal away. And once a ewe rejects one of her lambs, she will never change her mind. The little lambs will hang their heads so low that it looks like something is wrong with its neck. Their spirit, in this case, is broken. 
The lambs are called bummer lambs. Unless the shepherd intervenes, the lamb will die rejected and alone. So, do you know what the shepherd does? The shepherd will take the rejected little one into his house, hand feed it, and keep it warm by the fire. And wrap it up with blankets and hold the little, little one to his chest. So the bummer can hear his heartbeat. Once the lamb is strong enough, though, the shepherd will place it back in the field with the rest of the flock. But that sheep never forgets how the shepherd cared for him when his mother rejected him. When the shepherd calls for the flock, guess who runs to him first? That's right. The bummer sheep. Because he knows his voice intimately. It is not that the bummer lamb is loved more. It just knows intimately the one who loves it. It is not that it's loved more, it just believes it, because it has experienced that love one-on-one. -on -one. So many of us are the bummer lambs. Rejected and broken by society. But Jesus, Jesus, He is the Good Shepherd. And He cares for our every need and holds us close to His heart so we can hear His heartbeat. We may be broken, but we are deeply loved by the Shepherd. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. When I read first, that story about the lamb.
I was reminded of me. Because you know how in Scripture the firstborn is usually consecrated to Jehovah. But I, like the little bummer lamb, I was rejected. My mom and my brother came down. They still brought their stuff to practice their beliefs as Job's witnesses. I have nothing against that. Exodus 6.3 says who his name is. But... The way that it was gone about. I'm, I'm putting it out there because it needs to be said. Argue. Are you like me? Has someone rejected you that your spirit is hanging low, that you feel broken, that it doesn't matter what you do right, something is always still wrong. I know a shepherd. I know a shepherd. He wraps us in his love. He, ra he wraps us in his love. And he holds us close to his heart. So that we can feel his heart beating. So we can hear his heart beating. So that when He calls us, we hear Him because we experience that love one on one with our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So much like that bummer lamb. And our spirit is broken because our own families rejected us for whose we are. Your secular friends may make fun of you for whose you are. Society will definitely scorn you for whose you are. But one person will not scorn you for whose you are because he will hold you close to him. And he will. He'll hold you so you can hear His heartbeat. So you can know His voice. And so, when the shepherd calls us, we run to Him. Not because He's loved us more. But because he's loved us one on one. When no one else will love you, Jesus loves you. When no one else 
else will wrap you in the comfort and love that they have, Jesus will. Because he is the good shepherd. <clears throat> I'm taking just a moment to look this up. There's a scripture he says, My sheep know who I am because they've heard my voice. Lisa, what scripture is it that um, he makes mention? My sheep know my voice. Yes. John chapter 10, verse 27. We're just going to go there. Uh, I won't put it on screen, but I'll read it. Y'all catch up to me. John 10, 27. Thank you, Sister Lisa. We'll start at verse 25. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. And 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Verse 
Verse 30, once again. I and my Father are one. That's right. Jesus communed with His Father because He heard His Father's heart beat and felt His love. Much like the sheep heard the shepherd's heart beat. Jesus heard His Father's heart beat and felt His love. Oh, hallelujah. That we are able to be a part of the shepherd because He brought us in when we were rejected. He gave us salvation. He gave His life on Calvary. And no wonder so many references about losing a sheep and going after that lost sheep is made. Because Jesus' role is as a shepherd bringing His flock To him, he's calling for us. He's calling for you, as he's called for me. He's calling you. Hallelujah. Today is just a short service to, to, for this. <laughs> but you know, He's calling for us. He's saying, come home. Come on, my sister. Come on home. All you have to do is answer. All you have to do is answer. And much like that you, that, uh, much like that little lamb that was rejected by his mother, hand-fed and held by the shepherd, that bummer lamb grows up and hears the shepherd's voice and knows exactly who to run to because it wasn't that he was loved more it was because he heard the shepherd's heartbeat and heard the shepherd's voice and felt the love of the shepherd that's why the sheep, the bummer sheep, was lifted up. Oh, hallelujah. And much like I heard his voice after I heard rejection in my family. 
I'm not talking about distant family. I'm talking about the immediate family. I thought loved me and cherished me and wanted great things. They wanted their way. And not his way. Not his way. By any stretch of the imagination. Please forgive me as I change my glasses here. I know. It is easy to get your countenance low when you're rejected. But there's a shepherd who's going to hand feed you, wrap you up in his warm coat, and bring you to his chest to hear his heart beat. His name is Jesus Christ. And He'll bring you to Him. I know there's a realization I came to. It's a realization everybody at one time or another is going to come to. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But God commendeth His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. He's our shepherd. He died for us. He laid His life down for us so that we could experience that love. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the Scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon Him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. My friends, today's not a long service. We're taping it and then we're going to upload it so that it will be seen on YouTube because of the fact that when we live stream we've had some issues where the connection to the IP address will get lost. This is actually better this way. So <clears throat> at the moment we're going to pray. Our Father in Heaven, 
Jehovah, we thank you for this day. And we thank you that you know whose we are. Father, we know whose we are because the Good Shepherd is wrapping us in a coat and bringing us close to Him so that His sheep can hear His heartbeat and get familiar with that voice so when He calls us, we can hear His voice. And Father, we thank You. Father, there are those of us who are lost and there are those of us who were just brought the wrong way. Father, I pray that you bring us close to the shepherd, to the one who will set us in the right ways, take us out of that minor clay and put us on that solid foundation and rebuild our understanding of how the Lord Jesus Christ is and ever shall be. Lord Jesus, anything that is not of you, please clear it out of us. And help us to hear your voice, to feel your heartbeat. And to hear your voice so we can run to you. Father, it's so good that your Son has made it where he's building us a place in heaven. And I thank you for that. Father, just send the Holy Spirit down in a copious amount. Fill us up to overflow. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 And Father, any of those that prayed with me this prayer to be saved and baptized and receive the healing Father, I know Jesus and you those pray that prayer with them, with me. I pray they are filled to overflow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you have a prayer request, jbmprayeratlive.com. I don't know about Twitter. I'm still debating whether or not to keep that Twitter for anything and everything. If you'd like to book us for a special event, jbmworldhq at live.com. The information is also on J jamesbarkusministries.weebly.com and jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com. Link to the Word is a special program. We send Bibles to those that need it. If you'd like to, send your Bibles by way of FedEx and UPS. James Barkus Ministries, 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Postage may be donated to James Barkus Ministries, P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia. When we broadcast Sunday morning, usually at 11 a.m. Today, however, we were a bit behind due to the time change. And we had family down and got them going this morning to get home in time. Sunday morning, 11 a.m., Sunday evening, 7 p.m. For right now, we are cutting out Wednesday night due to my voice. And of course, special events throughout the year. Look for James Barkus Ministries on YouTube. Uh, ways to help, send your check by mail or money order to James Barkus Ministries, Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. I'm James Barkus with The Vineyard. Thank you so much for joining us today. 
Have a wonderful day. May God bless you and keep you.